Well, a lot, I mean, I have reacted, I think a lot of people um, misunderstood a little bit what I was arguing and have overstated the argument um, in ways that um, I, hadn't, uh, I hadn't anticipated. So I've heard versions of that argument that said that talent doesn't matter. All that matters is 10,000 hours, which is complete nonsense. Um, I could do 10,000 hours of, you know, Football golf, and golf. I'm not going to become <laughs> Ernie Els. Um, uh, and also, uh, people have felt that, that that number is hard and fast. And in truth, it's just a kind of, um, it's supposed to, it symbolizes this fact that the amount of time necessary to develop your innate abilities is probably longer than you think. So it, it's a kind of a, it's a metaphor for the extent of commitment that's necessary in cognitively complex fields. Um, so is it? You know, it, there is a healthy scientific literature which underpins it, which does circle around ten years, ten thousand hours, um, quite a lot. So that, it does seem to be it's very it's a useful number to to sort of think about. Um, uh, how, how long mastery takes. But I wouldn't go beyond that. I wouldn't, there's nothing magical about it. It's just a kind of, and there are, there are interesting things now, cases where uh, we're seeing mastery at less than 10,000 hours. That, so a good example would be, we're seeing, well, chess. So the original 10,000 hour literature starts with chess. Back in the 60s, people started to write about how long did it take chess grandmasters to reach mastery. And they were all coming up with 10 years. Couldn't find anyone who took less than 10,000 hours, 10,000 hours being 10 years, roughly. Now we are seeing some people, and it's because online chess learning is probably so efficient that you can get, you can learn a lot more in a given hour than you could before. And that gets into the second piece which I would spend more time on now if I were rewriting that. And, and that is, I didn't spend enough time talking about the quality of the practice. Um, so there's clearly a difference between one person's 10,000 hours and another person's 10,000 hours, right? And people who practice, what's called you know, this notion of deliberate practice, but people who practice in a focused way where they're getting ample feedback and they are, um, working uh, uh, in a, uh, in a uh, deliberate way on improving their areas of weakness, those people will tend to see far more uh, improvement over their 10,000 hours than those who don't, than those who practice in a kind of sloppy way. Um, so that's, a, that's an area, and that's the area where all the exciting work is being done now is, okay, given that you need to do a lot of work, how can we, A, shrink it a little bit, but more importantly, how can you make the most out of those hours? And that's a super, super interesting and fruitful area of inquiry.